Germany could be involved in a war with Russia, Scholz opposes supplying Ukraine with Taurus missiles. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz once again opposes the supply of long-range Taurus missiles to Ukraine. In his opinion, this could involve his country in a war with Russia, according to RND. We must, under no circumstances, be aligned with the objectives achieved by this system. Therefore, this is not the next item on the agenda. This clarity is also necessary. I am surprised that some people are not concerned at all. They don't even contemplate whether what we are doing might, in some sense, lead to participation in war, says Scholz. He explained that Taurus missiles are long-range weapons and what the English and the French do in terms of target control is impossible to do in Germany. Anyone who has dealt with this system knows this, adds the Chancellor. Scholz noted that he is very irritated by the lack of balance between what is really needed now and the discussion about Taurus. What Ukraine lacks is ammunition for all possible lengths and distances, but not fundamentally from Germany, he emphasized. Recall that Ukraine has been urging Germany to initiate the supply of long-range Taurus missiles capable of destroying targets up to 500 kilometers away since last year. However, the German government refuses to transfer such weaponry. According to media reports, Chancellor Olaf Scholz himself opposes it. He is concerned that the Ukrainian armed forces could use German missiles to strike Russian territory, making Germany a party to the conflict. Iran transfers hundreds of 700-kilometer range ballistic missiles to Russia. Iran allegedly provided Russian occupiers with around 400 ballistic missiles. They are capable of destroying targets up to 700 kilometers away, according to Reuters. Three unnamed Iranian sources told the media outlet that part of the transferred missiles are from the Fateh-110 short-range ballistic missile family, including the Zolfagar. Such a missile is capable of destroying targets at distances ranging from 300 to 700 kilometers. As one of the Iranian sources revealed, the deliveries began in early January after an agreement was reached at meetings between Iranian and Russian military and security service representatives at the end of last year. These meetings took place in Tehran and Moscow. Another unnamed Iranian military official clarified that there have already been at least four deliveries of missiles. A new transfer is expected next week. Another official stated that some of the missiles were sent to Russia by ship via the Caspian Sea, while others were transported by plane. There will be more shipments. There is no reason to hide this. We are allowed to export weapons to any country that we wish to, he added. An American official informed Reuters that Washington has seen evidence of active negotiations between Russia and Iran, but there are no signs yet that the deliveries have taken place. Rumors that Russia wants to obtain Iranian ballistic missiles spread as early as last year. Ukrainian intelligence services are verifying information about a possible transfer by Iran of its ballistic missiles to Russia, stated Andriy Cheniak, a representative of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, in a comment to RBC Ukraine. Iran became the first country to supply weapons to Russia for the war with Ukraine. Thus, the Russian army consistently receives Shahed strike drones from Iran, which are used to attack Ukrainian cities and infrastructure. In addition, Iran helped Russia set up its own production of these drones. Russia's Black Sea war plan isn't working. UK. Russia's tactics against Ukraine's creative warfare in the Black Sea are falling short, according to a new assessment as Moscow and Kiev step into the third year of all-out war. According to Newsweek, Russia can still strike at Ukraine from the eastern parts of the Black Sea, but it is increasingly evident that the defensive posture adopted to mitigate against Ukraine's non-conventional approach to maritime warfare is not working as intended, the British Defence Ministry said. It is noted that shortly after Russia launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, the Black Sea emerged as a key battleground between Kiev and Moscow. Ukraine has vowed to reclaim Crimea, which sits to the south of the mainland on the Black Sea, but has been controlled by the Kremlin's forces since its annexation in 2014. 
Ukraine does not have a large navy, but has made impressive use of naval drones to carry out dramatic strikes on Russia's Black Sea assets that have proved deeply embarrassing to Moscow. Russia's Black Sea operations have been greatly complicated, if not paralyzed, by the nearly two years of all-out war between Moscow and Kyiv, Ukraine's navy said in early February. Ukrainian-designed Magura V-5 naval drones attacked and destroyed Russia's Caesar Kunikov large landing ship near the southern Crimean city of Alupka, southeast of Russia's naval base at Sevastopol, Ukraine's military intelligence agency said earlier this month. Russia has lost a slew of other vessels, including its Black Sea flagship, the Moskva, several other landing ships and a submarine. Ukraine has used uncrewed vehicles and guided missiles to push Russian threat perception to new highs and force Moscow to shift many of its assets further east, away from mainland Ukraine, the UK government evaluated. The Kremlin has relocated some of its Black Sea assets from the peninsula to its Novorossiysk base in Russia's Krasnodar region further from Ukraine's coastline. Russia is also thought to be establishing another Black Sea base in Abkhazia, a breakaway region internationally recognized as part of Georgia. This would move Russia's resources in the Black Sea even further away from Ukraine's reach.